Hello and welcome. Before we move further with advanced topics in section access, I want to take a moment to go over differences between ClickView and ClickSense section access, especially for those who come from ClickView background. You may want to leverage a script that was created in ClickView into ClickSense and vice versa. Even though QIX engine is identical for both platforms, when it comes to the syntax nuances of ClickView and ClickSense, there are some differences. So let's go over these differences in case if you want to leverage a script from ClickView to ClickSense or vice versa. All right, the first difference is that ClickView is using NT name for authentication and authorization, whereas in ClickSense, it is using user ID. So if you take a script from ClickSense, for instance, with user ID and try to make it work in ClickView, it's not going to work. Same way if you take a ClickView script with NT name and try to make it work in ClickSense, it won't work. So just be careful to rename field from NT name over to user ID or user ID to NT name, depending on whether you are using a source script from ClickView or ClickSense. Another difference is that in ClickView, you remember you have always been advised to back up your QBW in case if you get locked out, since there is no way to get back to your QBW file if you forget password or if you have a hidden script with a password and you do not know the password for the hidden script. On the other hand, in ClickSense, you can open an app without data in case if you forget password. So it's always advisable to back up your QVF file before you add six and access, but it's a bit safer in ClickSense even if you forget a password since you can open a QVF file without data. The other difference is that in ClickView, groups are included in NT name. So NT name can contain domain slash username or domain slash group name. In ClickSense, if you're using a group, an Active Directory group, you need to create a separate column called group and include the group name in that column. Also, in ClickView, you can use section access on the desktop, but in ClickSense, it only works in the server. So these are some of the main differences between ClickView and ClickSense when it comes to Section X. One more subtle point I want to make is that if you're a ClickView developer, you know that you have to set document properties and you have to set a strict exclusion option in case if user who's trying to get an access is not in the Section Access control table. Well, in ClickSense, if user's not listed in the section access control table, then that user will not get access to the document. ClickSense has strict exclusion implicitly included in the product, which is a good news. All right, so with that, let's move on to multi-field data reduction in ClickSense. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next lecture.